Hey folks, we're going out into the middle of this field here to check out to see if we got giant hogweed out there. Because if we do, we don't want it around here. So, see what happens. Llama lays down in the sun, and there's a there's a piece of the llama's uh, fur. I get it too. Where? Oh yeah. She was in a previous video, Emily the llama. She's still here somewhere. But she don't do it while she's chewing. Oh. Um. They're basically the same thing, just two different colors that grow around. Yeah. Well, that's not hogweed. For you folks that don't know what uh, giant hogweed is, it's a very toxic plant that's found sporadically in the United States. Uh, a most recent report uh, the other day was in the news uh, about uh, finding some in Virginia. And you can get the toxin if you get the toxin off the leaves or from the stalk and on your skin what it does is it desensitizes your skin to the point where if you get any insignificant sunshine on it you can develop a third degree burn I've seen the pictures they're not pretty so when I went out looking to see if that uh, plant in the distance of the field with the white tops to it was uh, was giant hogweed. That was why I spotted it, and I want to know if it was on the property or not here. And uh, but if you want to learn more about giant hogweed, just look it up on the internet. If you're watching this video, you're already on the internet. So do some research. There's plenty of pictures, and there's plenty of information about it. And so there you go. I've seen these before. Do you know what they are? I have no idea. All I know is there's some behind the barn, there's some here. You milked cows here? Yeah. Probably sold cows in the Chicks. They like the bread more than the corn? Oh, yeah. That whole kernel of corn, that's still kind of small to eat it. They could eat it if they wanted to, but they don't know. This hole right here is one of many chipmunk holes on this property. We, in just a short time observing this hole, you may see uh, quite a few chipmunks coming in, in and out of it all over this property actually, which isn't uncommon for a lot of the properties in this area. But hey, that hole right there may not look like much, but that's an entrance and an exit for chipmunks. Is one of the little holes I see the chipmunks going in and out of. Right down there. Well, that's the end of our little 
a little stroll today, folks, in uh, northeastern Connecticut and little farms and things that go on there. Uh, I gotta watch the road here, so I'm gonna have to put the camera down. Say adios, amigos. Thank you.